Hey guys, it's time for another spooky video. And for tonight's spooky video, I am going to be telling you guys a story from one of my favorite childhood books. And I have done this before with my friend Sabrina here on YouTube. We made a collab on, I think it was my channel. So you should go check that out if you haven't. And also go check out Sabrina because she makes awesome horror content. But this story that I'm going to be telling you guys is called Sounds. And it's nice and creepy, so be sure to... Turn off your lights, sit back, and enjoy. A long time ago, there was a house that stood on the bay near Mobile, Alabama. It was known as the Madison Mansion, and it had been boarded up and vacant for years. Most people in the area kept away from this mansion because of its bad reputation, and they were very frightened by it. Anyone who passed by this mansion couldn't help but wonder what evil things took place there. Trespassers who dared to enter the old house usually fled during the night, telling tales so grisly that they were almost beyond belief. One night, three fishermen were caught in a quick-moving storm and managed to make their way back to shore. Drenched by the rain, they spotted the mansion and decided to take shelter in the rickety old place. Once inside, they made a fire in the fireplace to keep themselves warm and ate a cold supper. Then the three men pulled their oilskin coats tightly around them, laid down on the floor, and tried to get some sleep. However, as soon as these men dozed off, they were overcome by nightmares of horror horrible things like murder. Lying awake, the men heard the unmistakable sound of footsteps upstairs. It sounded like more than one person moving back and forth. Who's there? called one of the fishermen. The footsteps suddenly stopped. They heard a woman scream. The scream turned into a groan and then it died away. The house was quiet again. Just then, the man who had called out felt something splash against his forehead. Something was dripping from the ceiling and forming a small red puddle on the floor. To their horror, the fishermen realized it was blood. All of a sudden, a door upstairs crashed open and the floor shook with the sound of heavy footsteps. It sounded like a woman was being chased by a man. The frightened fishermen heard disembodied voices in the darkness. A man shouted in anger. A woman cried out in pain. They heard objects being flung here and there with a crash. Long howls of horrible laughter rose and filled the house. It went on and on until the fishermen thought they would go mad. Then there was silence. The fishermen huddled together and listened. After a few minutes, they heard something coming down the stairs. It sounded like someone dragging something heavy that bumped on each rotten step. The scraping and thumping noises came through the front hall and the front door opened. It sounded like something was flung outside, landing with a thump among the weeds. Then the door slammed shut and again, there was silence. There was a thunderstorm outside and the house trembled as if it was about to collapse. Rain was pounding against the sagging walls. The terrified fishermen couldn't bear to stay in the place a moment longer and decided to flee. Just as they reached the door, a flash of lightning filled every room in the house with a green blaze and one of the men saw a ghastly face staring at them from the stairs. It was so horrible that it looked as if it came from hell itself. A crash of thunder deafened and terrified the men, and they ran out into the storm never to return. Nobody ever really knew for sure what terrible deeds had taken place in that house. The mansion was built shortly after the American Revolution by an Englishman named Madison, who was a rich recluse. He lived there with his daughter, who was said to be mentally ill. Nobody ever saw her, and the servants were kept well away from her. They never had any visitors and never went out. One day, without a word of warning, Madison suddenly left for England and wrote to his servants instructing them to sell the house. The daughter was never found. 
she just disappeared. After that, the house changed hands many times, but nobody could ever stay there for long. There was my little scary story to tell in the dark for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really love these creepy, scary stories, and I still enjoy them to this day. I know I'm not a little kid anymore, but I still could go for a good ghost story every now and then, and I really like the vibe of just like the candlelight on my face. So yeah, let me know what you think. And have you guys heard that there is like a movie that they are supposed to be making about scary stories to tell in the dark, like a whole movie about it? Cause like I heard that and I got really excited and I don't know if it's true or not, but I'm hoping that it was because um, it just sounds like an awesome movie to me. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this spooky story and what would you do if you were in these two fishermen's shoes? I wouldn't leave. If I was scared like everyone else, I would leave. But knowing me and the way that I am right now, I'd probably want to investigate it. I probably would stay there over overnight unless it got to be like too bad and it was like a demon or demonic or I felt like something evil was behind it. But I kind of seem to think that maybe this girl got like too sick or too much for Madison to handle. And so he ended up murdering her and killing her. And that was the reason why these men were having these horrific nightmares and they were experiencing these paranormal things happening around this house. So that's what I think of the story. It was nice and creepy. So let me know what you think. And please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you have not already and become a morbid maniac. I post a creepy video every Saturday and I will see you guys in my next video. Hey guys, it's time for another spooky video. <sighs> Every time I try to do that, like I just don't sound as <laughs> scary. Ugh. In the dark. This story that I am 